So hold on. Three quarters way around, so you're just gonna look to there, okay? So back to the middle. Okay, so look round, get to there, and you're just gonna do the over pressure. Only if it's warranted though. Again, if they've got so D, just look over your left shoulder. Okay, back to the middle, look over your right shoulder. Back to the middle. So pretty good range of movement, both sides are equal. Any pain on those? I'm not no. really gonna justify it because I know she's got a good range of movement. Yeah. Okay? Range of movement, you've looked at it, so just side to the left. Okay. That's a good Just feel where's that pain pressure? Um, okay. So, again, I'm knowing that's more muscular than I'm theorizing than joint on this side. Do you right into right shoulder? Okay, anything there? No. Okay, just general over. Where's anything there? A lot of it. Where? Okay, so, again, I know that there's no real pinch on either side. When we did the shoulders up, that eases symptoms, so we know. I did that one, didn't I? Okay, do left ear to left shoulder. Any better? Yeah, a lot better. Okay, right, right shoulder. Any better? Yeah. Okay, obviously you can do one arm at a time if, if they're too heavy and you can't even pull over. So I know that his tendril, his limiting movement is more to do with muscular. So part of the would be nice, simple muscle release. Okay? So, uh, thoracic now, so we know cervical is C1 to C7, eight, C8 if you're looking at the joint, T1 to T12 probably, okay? So I want to look at movement, so just rotate hands on your chest. I always get them sitting like this because then it stops their hips, because if I get them to stand and they do this, what they're doing is hip sway, okay? So keep yourself relatively still at the hips and just rotate around to the left as far as you can, okay? So again, I'm looking at roughly the range of movement. I'm also looking at the spine to see it's a nice smooth curve throughout the spine and not one particular joint. Now, he moves quite a lot here. Any tightness there? No. On the right side. Okay. Is it here? Yeah. Okay. So, although he's got a bit of a curve, do that again for me. Quite a lot is moving to back to the middle. Moving in that section there. Okay. Yeah. Have a look to your left. Sorry, to your right. And again, smoothish curves, not, not too bad. Okay, anything there? No. Okay, so smooth the curve, less tightness. Move to your left. When he gets to there, I can just do a little bit of over pressure. Anything on that? Yeah, just stretch. Same again? Yeah. Okay, and then to the right. Okay, over pressure. Anything there? No. Good. Okay, can we get to flex forwards and extend? When he flexes forwards, I just start flexing the hips and extending from here down, if you like. They're fixing. So again, bring your nipples towards your, your thighs. Okay, so just flexing foot, yeah, without the head, so keep the head there, so, so back up. So you're just rolling your, your chest towards your thighs, okay? Okay, back up. And again, he's still kind of doing quite a lot of lumber. So again, rounding your shoulders forward and down as well as you do it. That's better, okay? So again, looking at the smoothness of the curve, okay? This time now you're going to peel your, your, or lift your nipples up, so your nipples are pointing that way, they're going kind to of point up towards the ceiling if you like, okay? And again, his cervical spine is extending loads there. Not much throughout the, the thoracic, is there? Tightness? No. Okay. It's not really extending through the thoracic much. Okay. Again, do that again for me. So, what little he does do, you can see kind of thoraco lumbar junction, he's doing a lot of extension. There's a little bit of a shift there as well. So, I can see two levels of extension there and there that he's extending from. Okay. Side flexion, I don't think you do side flexion, I know they're doing clinics, I think. We'll do it now and I'll tell you whether to include it or not, okay? So side flex to your left, again, keep everything still. Okay, again, everything happens there, back to the middle, to the right. Again, trying to not leave your head too much. Okay, so all of it's happening through this sort of area. So just for that general looking, so just looking at rotations, you can see a lot of what's going on in inflection extension. Okay, try that with each other. <coughs> and I already know she's got a posterior pelvic rotation. So I know her hamstring is going to be relatively short. So I would assume now, when she goes to the lumbar spine and flex forward, she's probably going to hinge at some point because her pelvis is posterior rotating. She's going to get to a point that hamstrings aren't going to let go any further. And unless she can unlock her hips and go, she'll hinge at one point. I probably guess it's around there or there because there's two slight hinges. So face that way for me, left. Okay, so just bow forward if you try to turn. Okay. 
Pastor. Ini kan? Pastor, dia ni cool dia lain. Ya. Nak sudah. Back up. As she's done that as well, face this way. Go forwards. Look at the muscle tone on this left side compared to the right side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Loads yeah. more here, isn't there? Mm -hmm. So she's she's gripping and holding on this side. Do you get lower back pain on that side or not? So yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, so going forwards, she wasn't too bad. Okay. Extend. So go backwards. If you so you just lean backwards. Okay. That's <laughs> Face this way. Have a look if she hinges that. or not. Okay. I think you're gonna have to do that. Yeah. Real hinge point. So she's not again coming through. It. Although gymnastics has kind of made her a little bit more um, an exception to the rule, she's still excessively hinging on point. Face that way. Side bend to the left knee, arms down each side this time. So just side bend to the left. So again, I'm looking for a nice curve through the lumbar spine. Funnily enough, she doesn't really bend at all until there. Okay, two to the right. Okay, much better from my cup. Great. You know, we said this left side was really gripping and holding her. If this side is tight, it's going to stop her going that way, isn't it? Face the whiteboard. Side bend towards me. Should be a nice smooth curve through the spine. Yeah. Just like a straight line, isn't it? So she do that again for me. So she's basically flexing a bit here, a little bit there, and then there up. Okay, one more time. Yeah. So we'll just make a note where her hand gets to as well, just above her knee crease. Back to the middle, then side bend to the left. I expect it to go a lot further this side. Yeah. Okay. And if you look at the smooth curve, go again. It's not great, but it's it's a lot more curved. Okay. So we've done flexion, extension, left and right side bends to the spine, okay? You can then do your extent left, left side bend and extension for your, your disc, if you like, but we'll do that at the end when we do all disc tests, okay? So again, I've looked at her posture. I'm kind of thinking, okay, where, even looking at her posture, when she's still there, I can see a little bit of the hinge point here. So I'm probably thinking, she's gonna do a lot of movement there, but let's have a look. When she bows forward, pretty good, pretty curved. And we know she's a little bit kyphotic, we know she's going to be more comfortable going forwards. Going backwards, gymnastics helps her cheat a little bit, but big extension through there. Side bend towards me. Get loads of movement there, a little bit there, and then from there up it kind of smooths out. Look at that tone on that side as well. It's just not letting her move at all. Okay, left side, side bend. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of there again, a little bit smoother. Come back up. This side one more time. Another thing that will give things away, look where sides crease, okay? Because it will see, a lot of people they'll kind of, that shows where they can side flex. So come there, then look at the other side. Okay? This side, although there's no major kind of obvious, other than this, and this looks quite straight, she just looks a lot freer going that way, doesn't she? Looks a lot easier. Okay? Again, your eyes and your hands are your, are your eyes, if you like, to your diagnostics. So use them all, okay? If you think that is restricting her, have a feel that she's going through it. And even me feeling like that, nice and soft, feels quite rigid, okay? So right, I'll roll that down a touch. Yeah. Okay, so come to the side, find the iliums. Let's see if they're level. Once I found the iliums, I can come across and find my PSIS. Now, when I'm looking at lumbar spine, I try and have my hands kind of around the, the ilium and the pelvic girdle itself, because if I'm there, I might be slightly off. <coughs> Whereas if I'm like this, I'm not doing that. I'm using the flat palm of my hand to just gauge where the iliums are. As she flexes then, I can see whether my hands rotate or not with, so rather than that, if you flex forwards as I'm doing that, there you go. Okay, so you can see one kind of the right side over rotates more than the left, but I might have just move with fascia there. So I might just move a little bit of, um, the upper part of the skin if you like or a little bit of fascia so what I want to do is make sure okay now even standing it feels like the right palm is just slightly forwards now just bow forwards to me so now I can feel the whole pelvis is rotating forwards compared to the left so again I can now have a visual feel 
through my eyes and my hands what's happening at the pelvis as she's doing that. Okay, what we do now is lean back towards me. Okay, there you go, see the right side just shift then? Come back up. Watch it again. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. It's a shift there and it's like the left side's working backwards, the right side's working up, back to the middle. What should happen obviously is you flex forwards, okay? As you then lean back, you get a posterior rotation, then you get a slight upward rotation because obviously you, you're gripping with your lumbar spine. Okay, side bend to the left move, okay? That should happen. Obviously the right side comes up, left side goes down, or stay still. Opposite side, okay, back up. I'll do that again, so do your right side bend. Not much movement there, is there? Do the left side bend. Okay. Yeah. Then if I have a look at it, do the right side bend. Okay, left side bend. Okay, does one side feel easier than the other? Yeah, going that side. That makes sense as well, doesn't it? Because we said then, blocking to the opposite side. I'm using my questioning, I'm using my eyes, and I'm using my hands, all to come to a clinical impression, if you like. So again, as she flexed, it was kind of like doing this. So straight away, I know her right side, her rectus spine and her lower back muscles are working hard. Hip, um, anterior pelvic rotation, if you like, and more the left side. So is there a block on one side or is there an over rotation? Straight away, I know that her right side, lower back muscles are working quite hard in that movement, okay? Just stand facing that way. Again, she's got a bit of a lordosis here, which kind of confirms it as well a little bit. Okay, so have a little, now that you've gone through the